All righty all, my name is Tommy, and of course, this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. We have a good one for you today. It is gonna be all about the brisket. If you saw my show last week, I did a Texas brisket secrets video. I wanted to answer the question, is it Texas brisket secrets or Texas brisket well, that was pretty much answered, and I did manage to save a little bit of leftover of that brisket. And on today's show, we are going to make an over-the-top chili. Now, those who have followed the channel for a while know that I have done this chili uh, this chili recipe in the past. I have not done it with brisket, so that's the... Uh, that's the twist today, and I can tell you this is some of the, about the best chili you'll ever have in your life. And of course, as it sits in a refrigerator, it just does nothing but get better, better, and better. And this show is going to get started with a little bit of prep. As always, a full ingredient list is down in the description, and this one is going to start with some garlic. I've got about four or five cloves here. I'm just going to do a loose chop on the garlic. From there, we will get our peppers out. I am going to go with three kinds of peppers. I've got a orange pepper, a yellow pepper, and also a green pepper. Again, you just want to do a loose chop. Bite-sized pieces will work fine. So we will get our peppers all chopped up. And from there, we will move on to the onion. Look, you know how to slice an onion. You want to go with the grain, make a couple slices in it, then turn your knife flat and go in about two, three times, and then do your chop. That is gonna give you a nice medium-sized chop. That is gonna be perfect for this. You always want a little bit of girth with this, uh, uh, with this chili. You don't want everything minced out too fine, and I like a nice hearty chili, so that is all gonna work good for me. And again, as always, full ingredient list is down in the description. My Halo Prime 1500 pellet grill is going to get the call. And I got to tell you, man, this is battery operated. I have not put the electric to this pit yet. And I have done from briskets. I've got a pork butt coming. We are talking 12 to 15 hours on a battery. I mean, how could you beat that? Supplying the smoke to this cook today is going to be those Manchester pellets. I have been using these pellets now for about a year. And I got to tell you, my barbecue game has definitely been upped. I've got information on the Halo pellet grill down below, along with these Manchester pellets. Let's move that sear plate over because I want direct flame underneath my loge wok. Add a little bit of oil. You see we got a surface temp of 400. That is going to be perfect. First in is going to be the garlic. You're going to want to cook that around now for about a minute or so so you could release some of those oils. At that point, grab your peppers and onions and get those in. And basically what I like to do here or anytime I am working with a wok is you want to move it up to the... Uh, Move it up the wall so you could get good contact with the wok surface. At this point, you are looking to just sweat out those vegetables, keep them moving. I will close that hood, wait about a minute or so, open it up, and stir them around, and you are looking at probably only about three to five minutes. Remember, the veggies are gonna cook in the chili, so you don't wanna cook them too much here. Like I said, three, four, five minutes maybe, a little bit better than an al dente, and let's move on to that next step. And that next step comes courtesy of our dry ingredients. You want to get all the dry ingredients in there. Give them a good mix because you want to get good contact with all the veggies. After that, it is time to introduce our wet ingredients. As always, you will get a full ingredient list down in the description under show notes. We will get all the wet ingredients in after every can that you pour in. Give it a good mix. You want to incorporate all that goodness together, then move on to the next can, incorporate together. And yes, unfortunately, this is Jersey, and in Jersey, we serve beans with our chili. So we will get our canned beans in, give it a mix, and after that, grab a can of tomato paste, because you are going to add in two tablespoons. Mm -hmm. 
I've got two nicely packed burger balls and it is time to go over the top. Now look, this is where the uh, recipe gets its magic from. You go over the top and as those burger balls cook, you are gonna season up with some nice burger drippings. And I will also flank these two balls out with some chef's temp. I've also got a chef's temp in the pit because we want precise temperature control and cook these balls out to 145 Fahrenheit. So I will let this cook down a little bit. Every time I stir, I will scrape the sides because you got a lot of goodness on those sides. You definitely want to get that in the chili. From there, get yourself one tablespoon of better than bouillon beef base. Get it in the chili. Follow that up with a half a can of your favorite beer. Incorporate all that goodness together. Again, make sure you scrape those sides. And once those burger balls have reached 145 internal, you can pull out your chef temp get yourself a tin because you are going to break up those balls in the tin after you've got all those broken up into nice bite-sized pieces you are going to add it to the chili now look a little bit of word of advice a little bit of word of caution you can always add but you can never take out so basically what i am going to do is i am going to get about three quarters of that in stir it around if you feel you need to add more add it otherwise just wait remember we are going to put some brisket in there so you definitely want to leave room for that. So at this point, you are looking to just reheat up that brisket. You want to get it to about maybe 80, 90 Fahrenheit or so, something more pliable that we could work with. And with a pit temp of about 300, 350, it certainly will not take long. Once we get that brisket ready to go, we will get it in the house. Now look, I am interested in bite-sized pieces with zero fat. So I'm gonna have to take my time here. I wanna eliminate the fat. I wanna get it broken up into bite-sized pieces. I want that bark in there. Once we get that all broken up, I will get it in a bowl. I will get it outside because it is time now to add that brisket into the chili. We will get that added in. I will close that hood. I will keep that temp set to that 300 and 350 to 400, anywhere in that range will do because we are looking to bring the whole thing up in temperature. At that point, I will get it back in the house. I will get a couple tins. I will pour it in the tins. We will let it cool a little bit. Then I will see you at the shack. We will do that taste test and we will close out the show. Alrighty guys, and look, I am telling you, this is one of the best chilies that you will ever make. If you've got the brisket, you could definitely go in with that. If you don't have the brisket, you can do a, uh, you can smoke off a little chuck roast and use that. But if you do have leftover brisket, that is the way you want to go. And I am telling you, man, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be good. And of course, we've got that cheddar and a little sour cream with a little bit of onion mixed in. And there is a nice piece of brisket. Cheers. This is as hearty as hearty can be. You've got that 80-20 in there along with the brisket. I mean, this is just an amazing chili, man. I mean, this is one of those meals that you know, I'm doing a taste test here on camera, but you can't stop eating it. That is what this is right here. I will be enjoying this chili for the next two, three days. And as I said before, as it sits in the fridge, it gets better and better. So I am definitely looking for all that, man. That is going to close out this show. I will have this full recipe down in the description. I appreciate all my Patreons and YouTube join the members. I will roll those guys up on the screen. That is one of many ways that you can support this show. And again, all that information is down below. My name is Tommy. I appreciate you all for watching. It is brisket chili right here. And until next time, we will see you soon.